Hi guys, I'm making three ingredient Christmas cake today. I've had a look at a few recipes and so I'm gonna be using orange juice as my liquid, but I have seen chocolate milk, iced coffee, apple juice, pineapple juice. So there's lots of different options you can use. And some people have even added in alcohol, which I'm not gonna to do today because the whole family's gonna eat these. In all the recipes bar one that I looked at, they suggested soaking the fruit overnight in the fridge. So that's what I'm gonna do. The other one talked about doing it on the stove, but I can't find it now. <laughs> so we're just partly doing it today. So for this recipe, I'm gonna be using one kilo of mixed fruit. This is just a packet from Coles and two and a half cups of orange juice. So that's 600 mils. I did see somewhere that they just used two cups, but I do want mine to be extra moist. So I'm gonna do two and a half cups of the liquid, which is orange juice. And I'm gonna do this tomorrow, but I'll tell you about it now. Two cups of self-raising flour that's been sifted. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do now is put the mixed fruit and the orange juice into a bowl. So I totally recommend having a look in the comments below. As you know, this is the first time I do these recipes when I'm filming them, I'm trying out this pie maker. So all the awesome tips uh, below in the comments so be sure to check them out and I hope you give this a bit of a go I will say this mixed fruit had a lot of sultanas like there was heaps and heaps and I did use the full kilogram but if I made this again I wouldn't use it all I found it really really fruity especially the last batch I did they had so much fruit in them I'd love to know what you're making in your pie maker this Christmas so once I had all the mixed fruit covered in the orange juice then I just pressed it down as much as I could and then covered with cling wrap. I made sure the cling wrap was nice and firm, you know, like you could nearly bounce a ball off it. And then I put it in the fridge overnight. Then the next day I got it out and I began by sifting the flour. So two cups of flour sifted in this just Tupperware sifter that I've got, which is great for hand strength. Um, for myself as well as my two and a half year old she likes to do the sifting she's not today though then I sifted the flour into the mixed fruit and orange juice and mixed it as I went I just did a little bit at a time I found that was a lot easier to get the flour completely mixed in I'm using these cupcake liners to line the pie maker. I'm just gonna put one in each one before adding in the mixture. As you can see here, I did the mixture up to the top of each one. I didn't do it above, just up to the top. The other reason why I used the cupcake liner is that I didn't want the fruit burning on the bottom or I just didn't want too much cleanup, I suppose. <laughs> And I've used it before when I made, I think it was orange and poppy seed muffins and it worked really well. So I know it works. It makes it so easy to eat afterwards as well. So I initially put it on for eight minutes to cook and then I checked it and I used a skewer to check in the middle. And as you can see here, it was still a little bit moist. So I put it on again for another two minutes and these came out perfect. As you can see, they're not too loaded with fruit and they're not burnt on the top. And then I repeated the process again for the next ones. I did it again for eight minutes because I thought being the second time and the pie maker already being hot that that would be enough, but it wasn't cooked in the middle. So I ended up doing 10 minutes. As I kept going, I ended up putting more and more mixture in and the last ones were just burnt. And the problem with putting too much mixture in is that you're at risk of burning the top and the bottom and then the middle being undercooked. I should have just had more excess mixture rather than trying to use it all up. So I ended up making 20 cupcakes from this mixture. And those were the last four that I did. And as you can see, they're just too brown for my liking. Um, so this is comparing the first one that I did and the last one. And you can actually see, I'll give you a side view of how much mixture I had in each one. Less is best with this recipe. And in the middle, it was nice and gooey and cooked. Thanks for watching. Bye.